this is like a feel good video. You want to feel good about being compliant? Then you could do this. I will also have a link in the description below to search the FCC license page for compliant GMRS Part 95 radios. <laughs>Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Amateur Radio and GMRS, and today we're going to be doing a review of two radios, the Wuxum KG UV9G GMRS radio, and the B-Tech GMRS V1. Now, both of these radios are Part 95 compliant, both of them. One has a really beautiful display, which is the 9G, 150 bucks. Uh, can do. Um, it comes with all 999 frequencies programmed of wacky stuff that you may not want. Or, and this is 150 bucks. I'm not knocking the radio. Okay, it's you have to you have to understand. My point of view. I am a huge GMRS operator. I run my own repeater here on Long Island. It's on, and here it is. The F-E-L-T-E-N radio repeater system. The time is 8.13 p.m. All right, so I run my own repeater system. It covers pretty much the entire Long Island. Um, it's, uh, it's on a tower, 600 50, uh, 600 feet up high, covers pretty much all the way of Suffolk County and pretty much all of Nassau County, a part of Connecticut. I have about 35 members right now of my repeater network, and then it goes all of pretty much if you have a boat and goes like another 150 miles offshore. So it's pretty impressive um, the range of my repeater. I'm huge into it because I have my own network, I have everything. So, but I'm, I'm really picky about the radio that I use. So, when I purchased these, I bought two of the 9Gs, but I didn't buy it for SHTF um, scenario. I bought it strictly for GMRU, GMRS use only. So, all the frequencies that are in this are useless to me. There's absolutely no need for me to have any of that on it. So I didn't buy it for that purpose. So those frequencies are pointless for me. That's just my opinion, and I'm allowed to have that opinion. The BTEC radio, which is also a GMRS radio, has a memory channel of 128. That's the maximum it could do. This can do 999. However, you really don't need 999 because there aren't 999 GMRS channels. However, if you're using it for should hit the fan scenario, then you might want this particular radio. Might. You're limited to transmission, and the receive is only as good as where you're located. So if you don't have good reception, it doesn't matter of receiving, it's a scanner at that point. It's a very expensive scanner. That's all. This, on the other hand, transmits on GMRS and does not do anything else but transmit on GMRS and receive weather frequencies. That's it. You can listen to other frequencies on this, but again, if you're buying it for GMRS, you're really using it for transmission, not for receive. That's my dilemma on this whole radio. It's a great radio. I just don't like the the um, the classification of it. It should be just be called a, a you know a Part 95 GMRS radio. No other radio out there classifies it as a shit hit the fan radio. And besides, you wouldn't be using, you have other frequencies. There's a whole, are you familiar with the three, three, and three? A true prepper, We uh, like I've been reading up on it. A true prepper would have a three, three, three plan, radio plan. And that's what this is. You can get this, uh, this is the, um, Prepper and Survivalist SHTF Frequency List. Not that many there. This is it here. This is all you need. All the other frequencies on here are literally useless. There's no reason for you to have FBI. Plus you have medical. Why would you want to listen to someone who's you know getting picked up 
on an ambulance. I don't know. That, that's a that's that's more of a buff radio than should hit the fan scenario. So this list here, my friends, I'll have a link in the description below to get this particular 333 survivalist scanner list. So the 9D would be the better bet if you, like, I would go out and get your ham license. I would also go out and get your GMRS license, hands down, and then this plan would be perfect for you. Now, there's a whole bunch of them here. Um, let's see, one, and it also even has marine frequencies on here as well, if you have a boat. So you have a safety calling, boat prepper, if, if you're going, if you're prepping on a boat and with such. So uh, there are also CB frequencies in here and single sideband side for CB. So this is the true survivalist and prepper frequency chart. This is what you need, and you can get it at by twowayradios.com. This is where I received it from. So if you're a true prepper, you're familiar with this frequency list, not the 999 channels that are on here, which I find being literally out of this wall ridiculous. There's really no need to have all that. This is too much fluff. Since 2017, they've made changes to the frequency frequency list for uh, regarding regarding GMRS and FRS. All right, so. Let me, the video that I just posted this morning has a kid talking on the frequency. And it's 4625625. Now that's technically an FRS frequency. Okay, however, the maximum FRS frequency power you're allowed to transmit is 2 watts. All right, so this particular radio, the 9G, has this programmed in to, pro, to transmit on it. However, this radio has the capability of transmitting 5 watts on that same frequency. But if you don't have a GMRS license and you're using it for FRS communication, this is illegal to use. You must have a GMRS license to transmit 5 watts on 462.5625. That's the only way you can do that. If you do not have a GMRS license, GMRS license and you transmit 5 watts on 462.5625, you're transmitting illegal power on that particular frequency. And this radio has that capability. So that is why I've been saying that this radio could be illegal because it has the capability. Now, if you have a different radio, so now if we have... The Garmin 650, now this is a awesome G GMRS radio, FRS radio, GPS as well. This transmit, you can text message with this back and forth on FRS frequency. Garmin uh, is the only one that can do it. So this radio is pretty sick for, um, for GMRS communications because you have a map uh, that you can actually watch you can see where the other people are transmitting and you can see where they are and you can follow them and this is more of a prepper radio because you have other family members on this frequency that are close by or in the woods whatever they transmit they transmit their location and then you'll know where they are so this is more of a prepper radio than anything out there this is strictly frs and gmrs and you have three power um, selectors half watt two watts and five watts and it will not let you transmit 5 watts on FRS frequencies at all. It doesn't allow it. That's the whole point of this. So it's 100% legal. And if you notice, the antenna is not removable. It's a rubber tip. Great radio, by the way. Well, I, we have a couple of these. It's an older radio. This is a Garmin 650. You have an 8 meg memory card in it. So anyway, this is old, but it still works really well. So through 8 through 14... You're only allowed to transmit a half a watt. That's uh, 467, 5625, 5875, 6125, 6375, 6625, 6875, and 7125. Those are 12 and a half kilohertz bandwidth spacing between each group of frequencies, if that makes any sense to you. All right, then you have channels 15 to 22. Now, these frequencies specifically for repeater use. Now I consider 
these are the only frequencies that I use for GMRS. So I call channel 15 channel 1 for me. So GMRS channel 1 through 8. I don't deal with any of those other frequencies because they are shared with FRS and who knows who you're going to get and listen to in terms of repeater use because you know or, or like simplex use it's just not even worth it so I like to do simplex at 50 watts in the in the mobile and it rocks it just absolutely rocks especially simplex mode and even if you have it in the base station I have a monster antenna on the roof it's a Comet 712 uh, and it's a it's a nine little over a nine dB gain antenna. Now, by the way, all these watt outputs are ERP, infected radiated power. So you must have zero gain on the antenna, otherwise you'll be breaking the law. So if you have a say a three dB gain antenna on this radio, your affected radiated power will be more than two watts. So you cannot use an antenna with gain. You will be definitely being, that's the hence the reason why this is here. Affected radiated power. What's coming off of this antenna is what they're talking about. So you can't pop, you know, put 5 watts and put a 10 dB antenna on it. It'll be illegal on FRS because then 10 dB gain antenna on this will be 50 watts. And you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. That would be completely illegal. Just so you're aware. So, um, in FRS power, transmitting on 462.550, the max is 2 watts. All the way down. But in GMRS, the maximum you can do is 50 watts. So, no call sign is required. Limited transmission ability on 2 watts using FRS frequencies. But... That's the issue. So 50 watts is a huge difference, especially for GMRS repeater use, and that's what we use for my for, for the repeater. So, all right. So the BTEC GMRS V1 is a really good option for should hit the fan scenario. It's 59.99. It does not come with a program cable. I did say in the last video that it probably did, most likely did, but it does not. Um, the Wuxom, believe it or not, the Wuxom cable that came with my 9D works with the BTEC. But I'll have programming cables listed in the description below to purchase them. This is a $59 radio and it works really well. Welcome to Selden Radio Repeaters. Please visit SeldonRadio.com for access. Welcome to Selden Radio Repeaters. So I have a ton of stuff in my man cave here and lots of interference. I bought this radio not to use the code plug that's, that came with it. I'm not interested in any of those frequencies, especially Walmart, FedEx, UPS. I could care less. I really don't need it. I needed it for the genuine GMRS Part 95 compliant radio. That's what I bought it for. And that's the only reason why I bought it for. So I can install and use my own frequency list for prepping or shit hit the fan scenario. And that is it. So, But the strange thing is, is that if you had both of these radios side by side, the 9D and the 9G, you couldn't tell. The, like, no one's going to know. If you're legal or not by looking at the radio. They're going to see it. They're going to see a Waxham. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a Waxham radio. They're not going to go, oh, you're legal or illegal. No one's going to tell by looking at it because you have to look right up to them and ask them. So it's, it's really a peace of mind to yourself that you're transmitting legally. Because if you're not affecting, you know, fire agencies, police agencies, they're not going to worry about an individual transmitting illegally. I'm just saying I'm just saying because it's true. Absolutely true. Am I compliant? Yes, I am. I bet you, you know, there's two and a half million radios out there or more that are probably not. And it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. However, if you want to, this is like a feel good video. If you want to feel good about being compliant? Then you can do this. However, I will also have a link in the description below to search the FCC license page for compliant. GMRS Part 95 radios. Believe it or not, Kenwood, Motorola, 
Lots of them. Matter of fact, this Wuxom radio, the FCC on this is um, WVT WOUX UN 19. Just letting you listen to it. So this, the last number on this is 19. There's another one. There's an 18, a 17, and a 16. Unrelated to this radio. It's another, these are more Wuxom radios that are actually FCC compliant. You just got to find them. And those, and you can find them. You can look up this particular manufacturer and find out what other radios are GMRS compliant. It's great. That's how I found this radio. I actually searched for BTEC. And I searched for the for uh, part 95, and this radio came up, and that is the reason why I bought it. That's the only reason why I bought it, because this is part 95 compliant. And now I'm going to use this for GMRS only and my prepping capabilities. Will I use this one as well? Yes, because it offers more channels. I like to display better. But I bought two of these radios. I paid whatever I paid. I paid I, I, my own money. It wasn't even given to me. I spent my own money to buy two of these. I have no idea what the other one is. I have no idea. And it's programmed with all my frequencies in it that I want. So I programmed it for GMRS, in this instance, uh, 15 to 22, but for me it's 1 through 8 travel channels. So I have GMRS 1, and I have 141.3 travel or frequ uh, PLs for all 8 channels. I have my repeater in there, and then I have just simplex GMRS channel 1 through 8, and that is it. And I have weather frequencies. And that's all I have on this radio. That's all. That's all I need it for. But both radios are great. Both radios do what it's supposed to do. They're both legal. And that's pretty much it. And that's my review. This one's loaded with a bunch of stuff. Fluff that I'm not sure if most people are going to use. Some people will. I don't. It's gone. So anyway, guys, I spoke enough about this video, about this, I spoke enough about these radios. I'll have a link in the description below to get the BTEC GMRS V1. Not this one because I'm not affiliate for this particular radio. But if you're interested in it, you can go to a better, what is it, Better Safe Radio or something like that. And you can order it there. So I think it's $150 for it if you're interested in getting this. But there you go. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you next time.